this way, Messine? Men, they are like moles. They do not look at the sun. We shall reach the road ahead. French Army? Free French. Well, what are you going to do? Just talk to him? Yeah, we got to make sure he understands the plans for coordination of his forces with ours when the division hits this sector. Mais non, monsieur, c'est pas moi, je conduis seulement la voiture. Messine thinks that uh, this Frenchman is bringing the stuff to the Germans. Oh. Why? What makes you think he was taking this stuff to the Germans? This road leads to them. This road leads a hundred places. I could not take that risk. Shall we continue, Monsieur le Soldat? Just because you think he's guilty. That's not a Frenchman at that. What about that, Lieutenant? No comment.
little army, Lieutenant. This is the bull. He is a Spaniard, and I am told a better lover than any Frenchman. Ah, oui, lover! <laughs> J'ai jamais embrassé une femme dans ma vie. He has never kissed a woman in his life. <laughs> Jusque ma mère. Except his mother. <laughs> and this is our scholar, Jean. Nous vous attendions plus tôt, Massine. He's scolding me. Jean is a man of precision. He is not yet accustomed to our way of living. André and Pierre Jeunet. Their parents published a little newspaper in the village. They were not kind to the Germans, so they were executed. None of my little band speak any English, but you will see their dedication. Where's Captain Boulange? Ah, Captain Boulange. He is at my headquarters. And why do we stop here? I want you to meet my friends. They are coming with us. All right, let's go. Patience, Lieutenant. We will go soon enough, bearing gifts. Mangeons maintenant. What kind of gifts? Explosives. High explosives. What are you talking about? Captain Boulange has need of high explosives for a sortie he is planning. Captain Boulange is going to have to get his own high explosives. I just didn't happen to bring any with me. Oh, we are not asking you to furnish the explosives, Lieutenant. You and your men need only help me appropriate them. From where? About three miles from here, there is a German supply depot. Messine, you're under orders. Whose orders, Lieutenant? Allied commander of this sector. You have the cart before the arse, Lieutenant. I am but a local leader. Captain Boulange is in command of all the free French in this sector. Until you meet with him, until he agrees to obey the orders of your superiors, I obey his orders only. All right, take me to him and let him settle it. My captain is desperately in need of explosives, Lieutenant. I would not wish to meet him empty-handed. Since you are asking his cooperation, I do not think that you can afford to meet him with empty hands either. Are you refusing to take me? The supply depot is but poorly guarded. With the added strength of your men, we can take it with ease. Besides, it is on the way to my captain. Okay. As long as it's on the way. Bon. Now, when do we leave? Good night. But first, supper. Right out of here and forget this whole thing. No matter what Mazine says, if you have those explosives from the crowd, you got a fight on your hands. Yeah. Now, these guys fight their own war, you know that. And maybe if we go their way tonight, they'll go our way tomorrow. <laughs> your plan? Ah. Oh. We drive up to the buildings, I get out, I tell the sentry I'm lost. While I am talking to the sentry, the rest of you circle around. At a signal, we will attack the sentries. You drive up to those buildings, they'll cut you down before you open your mouth. Yeah. I am willing to listen to suggestions. All right. Drive halfway up to the buildings. You get out, lift the hood. Curse at the engine for a while. 
Then walk up to the sentry. Tell him you're lost. You need help. You stay in the truck. Uh, tell him to stay in the truck. Wait, wait. Wait five minutes. That'll give us time to circle the place. Then have him drive the rest of the way up to the buildings. The engine starting again will be our signal to jump the sentries. C'est bon. Bon. I have picked a good man. Ibo and I will go inside first. Be sure and pick the proper explosive. Okay. We'll come in and help you as soon as we get everything secure outside. You got it? Oui. All right, I'll tell the others. dans le noir. On allait vers le village. Ou bien peut-être euh, c'était le deuxième, euh, le deuxième, le troisième. C'était alors non. Le deuxième, le troisième, à gauche, à droite, je ne sais pas, monsieur. Monsieur, je vous en prie, écoutez. Machine. Capote. Oh, machine capote, yes, je euh, Hans, you nehmen Sie mal, ich guck mal, was der blöde LKW macht da, ne? Oh, was haben wir denn hier? Ein Heinzelmännchen. Haben Sie keine Zunge?
need of him. We just ran out of truck, big man. You haven't got another one, have you? All right. Your truck's gone. The Germans are looking for us, and two of your men are dead. All for nothing. Not for nothing, Lieutenant. For a plan. A dream. And we are now all a part of it. All of us. It's gonna say dynamite. Oh, bien sûr. What are you talking about? We are going to move a mountain, Lieutenant. Do you know how to move a mountain? Jean knows how, eh? He is a geologist. He has studied this mountain carefully. He will show the boat where to place the charges. The boat will show me how to detonate the fuse, and together we will bury Germans, many Germans. Now, wait a minute. Time, this afternoon. Place the ledge road on the other side of this mountain. Objective, a German column. Our weapons, leadership. Genius, and a million tons of dirt and rock. But since our truck is now useless, I shall have to call upon you and your men to help us carry the explosives. What are you talking about? This mountain's going to be crawling with crowds in an hour. I did not plan it this way. We will have to move fast. Well, you'll have to move alone. I do not think that I can finish this alone, Lieutenant. All right, then forget it and take me to Captain Boulage. But still, I must try. And you must help us. If the Germans catch up with us, and if they kill us, I cannot then lead you to my captain. I am asking only that you ensure the success of your own mission, Lieutenant. You help me to help you. Perhaps the decision has been made for you, huh? Cross on the low road, coming this way. Ah, uh, you speak of the devil. How many? Plenty. We're gonna get out of here, Lieutenant. Without one of us to lead you, you will not get far. Okay, Mosin. You win for now. Bon, allons-y. All right, get the stuff out of the truck. Oh!
You better let me take a look at that arm. Half a kilometer. No, no.
vu la machine Non, capitaine. Tout ça va. Ça marche. Lieutenant Henley Captain Bourlange. C'est moi. J'ai pensé que j'ai entendu des coups de euh, fusil. Les Boches, ils nous cherchent. Vraiment Ah, les autres, vous sont dit Ils sont morts. Morts Dead Your arrival has proven costly, Lieutenant. Yeah. It needn't have. If we followed the original plan, nobody would have gotten killed. Est-ce que vous avez fait, Massy Avant que j'ai de part... I don't speak French. Before I left to get the lieutenant, you recall the plan I had outlined? I have now put it in operation. You helped him in this He wouldn't have brought me here if I hadn't. We raided a German depot. They're outside looking for us now. You jeopardized this meeting to blow up a mountain to lose more of your men? They were all aware of the risk. There were too few men in this sector to begin with. Every mission you have given me, I have accomplished. Yes, and how many other senseless ones have you tried? How many good men have died for them, eh? They followed me, Boulange. Me, Massy, gladly, proudly. We have killed more men than you will ever see in your dark rooms with your, your pencils and your secrets. When I gave you this sector, I saw courage in you. I didn't realize it was the courage of a selfish fool. All right. A shot will do nothing but bring the Germans. Vous avez raison. You are relieved of your command, dear Massine. Even before the war, I felt a certain repugnance for organization. I will do what I must without the benefit of your approval. From now on, you are alone, Massine. You can do what you like, but I send you no more men to butcher. Sure. Mais bien, je vais get on with the business at hand, Lieutenant. Go ahead. Give your empty promises to the lieutenant. Send him home with your backbone in his pocket. Follow the orders of a stranger in your own country. Uh, now, yet, no, we get to work. Hmm? That does it. Oui. Get the radio. Cage. Let me have the radio. How's it going in there, Lieutenant? Fine. does it, Captain. We're in business. I'd better get back to my quarters. Me too. We're finished, Messine. My mission is complete. So? You want me to take you back through the Germans, is that it? It would improve the odds if you were along with us. 
a messenger boy. You take it any way you want. It's a small job in a big war. A small job. All my life I have been asked to do the small job. It's the same for all of us. I could get killed doing my small job, too. But life is important to you, Lieutenant. But to me, my life is wasted already. I was married once. I had a son. My wife sent me away because she could not live with my excesses. I deserted from the regular army because I could not justify my misbegotten existence in some, some great way. And now you are asking me to give up my big chance, my resurrection. For our big chance. How long must a man carry himself? How much must he endure before he knows his real worth? Lieutenant, crowds. It's Jean. He's leading them up here. Kirby, little John, stay here. This is where we say goodbye. Well, is there anything else I can do to help? Nothing, thank you. Eh bien, adieu. Et bonne chance. Good luck. You still fighting your own war, Messing? I will lead you down the mountain, Lieutenant. As far as I can. Knock him off the mountain, we can get out of here. Cage, we'll cover you. Take some grenades, go up there and blow off this mountain. And it's too yummy. Make him come.
I don't hold them for a while. Let's get out of here. Wait. The German call. Hey, Lieutenant. Thank you. 